Hi, MC Movie fans. I am here with Michael Gallagher, the writer and director of the upcoming horror film Smiley, which will screen exclusively in AMC theaters on October 12th, beginning on October 12th. So make mm. sure to get your tickets. All right, Michael, you got to tell me. So you were working online. You're working in the online world, very successful doing sketch videos with mm. Totally Sketch. What made you want to take on the horror genre? You know, I've always been a big fan of horror movies, like The Shining is one of my favorite movies. Rosemary's Baby is one of my favorite movies. Um, and when you want to make a film, you know, a comedy film, when you think about them, a lot of them cost, you know, they don't seem like it, but they cost a lot of money. Right. And especially with the cast that some of those movies get and all those kind of funny actors, uh, those budgets can get kind of out of hand. But horror is a genre that's, you know, I think a lot of directors cut their teeth doing a horror film because you can do it a little bit on a lower budget. And it was something that, you know, I really wanted to make a film. And so in looking at all the options of scripts and things that I was working on, it just kind of this script made the most sense. And, you know, I mean, I love the genre. So it was just kind of a perfect fit. I think one of the smart things about the script and what you did was you took your knowledge of the online world and the online community and you transferred that into a horror film, which I think works so perfectly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because... Who else do we want to see running around getting murdered and killing people but online celebrities? <laughs> <laughs> and which one will go first or last? Um, but the other kind of cool thing, and I and I, I talked to Shane and Caitlin about this too, mm. is that it seems like it kind of takes the negatives of the, we see the positives. It's given you a career, gave Shane a career. Mm. It's a great place for people to cut their teeth creatively. But there are some negatives that go on on in the online mm -hmm. world. Can you talk about those a little bit? Well, sure. I, you know, there's another film that I, I worked on before Smiley called At Your Friends, and it was a film that was about cyberbullying, and it kind of dealt with those intense issues of you know parents and kids getting involved, and you know who are they talking to online, what's happening, and so this is sort of the horror version of cyberbullying, of internet stalking, of those sort of fears that I think a lot of people have. And I mean, gosh, I mean, how many? things you buy online every week you know you probably have all your credit cards hooked up yeah. I mean it's a really scary thing when you think about all of your information out there like we're freely putting so much info on Facebook or Twitter about where we are like Foursquare is literally the location that you're at right now yeah I mean it's very scary we're oversharing and uh, I don't know I think it's uh, I wanted to see a horror film that kind of addressed some of those fears that I've been having and I think other people have there are two things that are different than the Bloody Mary kind of idea in this film. And one is that it's not that Bloody and Mary appears and kills you. You know, Smiley, you say I did it for the lulls in order to hurt someone else anonymously, which I think is so reflective of what happens on the Internet. You know, so I thought mm. that was super clever. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that's like a phrase I think that was built out of 4chan and a lot of these sites that kind of harness the negative energy of the internet. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of like great things about the internet. I mean, hey, I, I think the reason we're having this conversation is because of the internet. Uh, yes. And you're watching it on the internet. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of scary negative uh, things and, and, you know, people put a lot out there, not only their positive feelings, but their really intense negative feelings. I mean, every day I put out a video and, you know, there's definitely comments coming in that are very negative, very mean people saying things that they probably would never say if they met me in real life. Right. But because they're behind this anonymous screen name, uh, their username or whatever, they feel like they can, you know, try and, you know, uh, try and ruin your life. I think they want to get a reaction out of you. They do or they're angry or something. But the other thing, too, is I did it for the lulls. Like I was saying, the mm. other thing that's kind of different about this film is that that kind of indicates somebody that just doesn't care, you know, and that apathy cr manifests a being, which I thought was sort of interesting, too, because Bloody Mary already exists in that kind of lore mm. but they create this thing yes through through the invention of the internet it's sort <laughs> of the inverse of the secret right? yeah yeah it is <laughs> well like you totally. know the idea of like uh, what is it the power of uh the power uh, of your of your mind to create something yeah exactly manifest. yeah like positive thought creating like your future like saying yeah. like oh i really want to you know do well in business and then you just kind of have this positive energy and then i guess you're your business skills go up. I think, <laughs> I think some people believe that. And, you know, not to say that there's anything bad about it, but this is sort of the opposite where the negative thoughts you put out there, they can manifest. And yeah, yeah exactly. Like I did it for the lulls is sort of, it's, it's a very apathetic kind of, uh, it's a, 
it's doing something because just because you can and not uh, and not really caring about the consequences. Right. Which right. I mean, to me, is very scary. It's it's the idea of doing a prank, not just to get a reaction out of somebody, but just because there's nothing better to do. Yeah, I agree. That is really scary. It's it's what scares me about the online world. But what's cool about the online world, like we were saying, is that people can kind of cut their teeth creatively there. So can you talk a little bit about wanting to bring in some of the internet web liberties that you've worked with? And <laughs> <laughs> and bring web liberties. I've heard that one a while. <laughs> and bring that into like the... The, your feature film debut, did you want to kind of give them a different, bigger platform or is that something you wanted to honor? Yeah, I think it's, it was kind of two things. One, I mean, I've been working with these guys online for three, four years, you know, every week. I mean, Shane, for example, uh, is someone that I direct stuff for. He acts in things for me. We collaborate on scripts and we work together all the time. And so it, when I was doing this film, uh, it was just sort of a natural thought to think, well, he's a great actor online. Why can't he be a great actor in his film? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it for me, I think just doing so much online, it wasn't hard for me to make a connection of, oh, this person's doing something great online or Toby's really, Toby Turner's really funny online. He'd be funny in a movie. It just didn't, you know, it wasn't like a hard leap to make. It wasn't like, I'm going to do this noble thing and bring people <laughs> from the internet into a film. I mean, you know, I, I think these guys are getting, uh, a bigger platform to be showcased, I guess. But I, I think online, I mean, they're already huge. I mean, yeah, sure. if you look at some of their, their numbers and the amount of people that watch these videos, I mean, it's, it can be staggering sometimes. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm lucky that they wanted to be in the movie and you know, that they're my friends and, and we got to make this thing. What was it like for you to make the transition to a feature film in terms of, I mean, you kind of have to think of it in a different way as you're directing it. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I do shorts every day. I film a short, yeah video on online pretty much every day and so having done that for five years it was good really good training because it's basically you know a, a sketch or a short film online is like a scene yeah you know it's like a you know it's a pretty much a full thought out scene sometimes it's you know five scenes six scenes put together very quickly uh, or a montage or whatnot but so I've been working at doing that for so long that when I approached the film I almost approached it like the same way I do my online stuff but saying okay I'm gonna shoot 115 short films in 15 days and that's what we're going to do and so that's kind of how i approach it because i just took it scene by scene because i think when you say feature film it can be daunting sure. you can say oh my gosh how am i going to do 90 minute movie that's you know that's a lot and there's a lot of scenes you know but uh in just looking at it scene by scene and saying okay what are the objectives of the scene you know what are the what do i want to get from not only you know camera wise style wise but also with the performances and and you know uh and, and with the acting i it's just, you know, you kind of take it piece by piece and then you're able to, you know, sort of build it from that. So since we are doing this online, why don't you just say one or two words about what you would suggest to people if they're trying to move into that arena and create their own content? I mean, all my advice is so corny because it sounds vague, but it's it's not supposed to be. It's just uh, it's true. You have to make things. You just literally have to start making things. I mean, I started with sketch comedy. And so to think that I could do sketch comedy and then do a psychological horror thriller feature film is, is a bit of a stretch there. But I think as long as you keep at it and, and you, you just literally have to start, I think so many people out there are thinking about it or they read the books or they want to do it and they don't actually make the step. It's literally making that first step in. It's like you got to jump in the pool before you can play water polo. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you, know, you can't just sit on the sidelines. So it doesn't matter if it's not the best thing in the world, if you don't have the best equipment. Don't let any of that hold you back just use what you have and continue working and then find people that like doing what you do I mean that's literally how I started I just found like-minded people whether it was in grade school or when I was working in YouTube finding people online I mean it's just kind of you continue that same thought process and and just as you go out into the you know from your you know youth out into the real world you just kind of find more and more collaborators and I've just been trying to build that network as I move you know day to day and you know got to the point where I, I you know I got to make a movie. So Smiley is a horror film. So why don't you go ahead and tell AMC moviegoers, A, what's going to scare them about the movie and why they are going to love Smiley? Well, I, you know, what's going to scare them are the scary parts. Uh, That's <laughs> ironic. I was thinking it was going to be the laughs. That was going to scare them. The lulls. I mean, <laughs> do you know what scares me about this movie? Yeah, no, tell me. I mean, I'll you tell saw you. It. I, I, I'll yeah. tell you what's scary. And it's literally the idea of it the idea that it is so true 
It's the conversation that Ashley has with her professor about the nihilistic nature of human beings and how that is becoming manifest online to create something that is ultimately greater, more dangerous, and scarier than ourselves mm -hmm. from the darkest recesses of our mind. That idea, no one scare or boo scared me, but that idea is what scared me about this movie. Idea just scared me you saying it again. <laughs> 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 no, it is. I mean, you know, I we've been kind of coy about w the, what's in the film as far as the plot and then characters like the professor. And I think I'm, I'm hoping that when people discover Smiley and they go and see it, that those elements will start to illuminate because, you know, if you've seen the trailer, it's really selling fear and it's showing right. you like there's panic, there's mayhem. And I mean, you've seen the film, there is some of that, sure. but there's, I think, more to it than just that. I think I look at the film as more of a psychological thriller than just a horror teen slasher. You okay. know, and I think that's sort of the shell that that the movie is. But then when you kind of start peeling it back and going in it, you know, there's some bigger ideas in there. And so to me, those ideas are what's interesting. And I like seeing a film that makes you think that makes you really, you know, kind of take a step back and look at not only your life, but then the situation of, you know, the Internet and how we're using it. And is it good? Are we what we're putting out there? Is that is that, a, you know, as are we manifesting things, whether or not they're it's a being or not, but are we manifesting uh, behavior just behavior and scary you know uh, scary behavior I mean we've seen some some horrible things happen in the last you know uh, I mean all time but you know especially with the internet I feel like evil now has a microphone and yeah. a megaphone and evil is being able to be projected out there so the movie kind of deals with that and you know if you have any fears online or about people stalking you or putting out information then I think uh, I think smile would be right up your alley <laughs> I think so too and that was a that was a great way to put it that evil now has a microphone and a megaphone all right well the scares are in there as well so you're gonna want to check smiley out mm -hmm. tell us about the special screenings so we're gonna have some special screenings starting October 11th at 10 p.m. and midnight in all the locations that smiley's playing in go to the AMC website to check that out get your tickets and it will open AMC on October 12th. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and join us at amctheaters.com and watch one of our other AMC Movie News videos below.